uh, guys, how's on here? We are currently at the Ayalamos, the 30th branch of the Lego Certified Store. We are going to interview uh, Miss Shirley Ortiga from LJA Philippines. They are the official distributors of Lego here in the country. And um, I'm going to try to find out more about the LCS, what can it bring, and how can it enrich the experience of those trying out Lego for the first time and for those who are already doing Lego here in the country. So we are currently with Ms. Charlene Ortiga of um, the LCS Business Unit Head here in the Philippines and um, here are some of the questions we, we have for the LCS and what's it, what, what it's all about. So first, first off is, um, can you share to us a brief, a brief history of Lego? Uh, okay, so Lego uh, is actually two words. Leg got meaning play well, and it was founded by the. It was founded by Ole Kirk Christensen back mm -hmm. in 1932. Mm -hmm. uh, he started out as a carpenter, so the first um, toys he made were wooden products, mm -hmm. and then eventually he grew it into a global enterprise with their most important product, which is the Lego brick. Mm -hmm. So why the Lego brick was became very popular is because of its the of the interlocking mechanism, uh, which gives it the clutch power. So you can build infinite um, possibilities and infinite creations with the Lego brick. Mm -hmm. So from there, Lego grew from 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 Denmark, built in Denmark, to U.S. and the rest of the world uh, in so many years and. This year, we're actually celebrating the 60 years of the Lego Brick. Okay. So, um, with that said, how did um, how is the his or what is the history of um, Lego here in the Philippines? I mean, um, considering that it started off from Denmark, mm -hmm. um, how did it come here to the country? Uh, actually, uh, for for Lego, uh, well. Since I'm from LAJ, we started distributing Lego back in 20, 2006. Um, so we're on our way to our 12th year by November of this year. We started distributing first in um, department stores, so that's in Toy Kingdom, Toys R Us, and, and eventually we, we, um, we expanded to handle specialist stores like Rustans, Hubs and Lands, Build City. And then in 2014, we were given the opportunity to open a Lego certified store. So we opened the first Lego certified store in 2015 of May at uh, BGC Park Chicago. Um, so with that said, um, why did it take so long for a Lego certified store to open here in the country? Uh, well, first of course we wanted to test the market and prior to us distributing it, Lego wasn't available in the Philippines. I know it was available way back mm -hmm. uh, by a different distributor, but um, for a time it disappeared in our market. So we had to reintroduce the brand again, and it was also a time when PlayStation Wii was getting a lot of hype, mm -hmm. so it was hard to sort of convince the customers and the kids that you can have as much fun with Lego bricks. But thankfully, we were able to do that, and like I said before, we were given the opportunity to do so, so we grabbed that opportunity. And we wanted to bring a full-scale uh, Lego uh, store here in the country. So, um, how is the Filipino response to Lego here in the country? Um, I believe a lot of people like Lego, uh, but of course, um, I know the biggest factor is the price. A lot of um, the customers find it a bit expensive, mm -hmm. but um, as with any global brand, bring it here incurs a lot of cost as well. So we try to do our best to to control the prices as well, and hopefully uh, with our continued marketing programs, people will continue to support the brand. Uh, but but in essence, a lot of people are supporting Lego, especially with the. With the movie franchises that the brand has tied up with, like Star Wars, um, Avengers, DC, and others. 
what does it mean when you say that the store is a Lego certified store? Um, a Lego certified store essentially is a Lego store similar to the ones you see in US and in Europe, except that it's not um, operated by Lego directly. So it's operated by us, LAJ, the official and authorized distributor of Lego here in the Philippines. But everything you see here and you can expect here is almost um, the same as what you see in US and in Europe. So what kind of advantage does the LCS stores have compared to, let's say, other stores that sell Lego? Uh, in Lego Certified Store, we carry a lot of exclusives. For one, we have the pick a brick wall, where you can just purchase the, the, the bricks that you just need, so you don't need to buy an entire set mm -hmm. to, to make whatever you plan to create. And then we also have the build a mini station, where you can customize Lego minifigures to your liking. So you can customize from the headwear, head, torso, uh, and accessories. And uh, we also have monthly mini build programs where you, it's a free activity. You, every month it changes, so you can collect all of them, 12, 12, 12 months, so 12 monthly mini builds in a year. And uh, it's basically a small Lego set that you can just build for free. We do that twice a month, every second and fourth Tuesday and Sunday of the month. So how far, uh, so far, how many LCS do we have here in the country? At present, we have seven branches already, five in Metro Manila. So that's um, BGC Park Triangle, Alabang Town Center, Trinuma, Animals the 30th, UP Town Center. And then we have two in Mindanao, in Centrio Mall, and Abriza, Davao. So, how do you determine which areas are prime venues to set up an LCS? Uh, well, we do our market studies as well, and we try to penetrate um, cit cities with high foot traffic, and where we also know there are a lot of um, families and kids, and uh, where we know there's a big growth potential for the brand. What can kids and adults do inside an LCS? Uh, well, for this year, what we just launched the Lego Quest, so it's similar to Minute to Win It challenges where kids and uh, young kids to young adults can participate with just any purchase in the Lego store. So they have different challenges every month. So for example, this month, um, they're supposed to separate bricks according to size, so two studs, four studs, six studs, something like that, and within, within two minutes and best time wins. So that changes every month and uh, at the end of the year we'll have a culminating event where we call in everyone who won every month and challenge each other for the grand um, Lego Quest winner. And then we also have an ongoing Brexit promotion where a lot, um, all of the 2016 and older products are at 50 off. And of course we have our monthly um, gift with purchase promos as well. Like just this May, we'll be giving away the uh, Ariel's Under the Sea Symphony poly bag with every purchase, with every uh, minimum single receipt purchase of 2,999.75. So, um, can you share to us uh, the various themes Lego Friendly has and what makes it different from each other? Okay, so um, Lego has uh, four themes, which is City, Friends, Classic, and Duplo. These are, uh, these are the themes that are regularly um, refreshed every year with new stocks and new styles. Uh, and then we also have the IP, IP themes, which is Star Wars, and most recently the Avengers. Then we also have Jurassic World, um, Incredibles 2, so a lot of movie franchise tie-ups. And we have, for the more serious, or A-Falls, we have the Technique and the Collector Series. So these are the big sets, modular sets, and um, creator expert vehicles. So each theme varies with different age groups, but of course we try to cater to a growing age group. So we cater from toddlers up until adult fans of Lego, whose uh, idea here is um, if a kid starts with playing Lego, eventually he will also collect Lego as an adult.
So, which line is the most popular for Filipinos? Uh, it would be City because it's um, it's the one theme that's uh, about everyday life. So, in City theme, you can see police, fire station, the hospital, uh, vehicles, airplanes. So, it depicts everyday life. So, it's more relatable to all our customers. So how does Lego determine which products or toys they use? Plus, uh, how do they determine which collaborations that they, would, uh, they should pursue? Um, I would say based on pop culture, that's one factor. Another factor is Lego also has this program, it's called Lego Ideas, where, for example, uh, if I like Star Wars, I can make my own build of a Star Wars something, submit it, I need to earn 10,000 voters for them to consider and possibly produce it. So that's how they also get the feedback of their customers and fans. And then of course, uh, well, LEGO's recent development is also that with LEGO Friends, they catered to girl, the girl segment, because prior to LEGO Friends, it was all more for boys. So. Uh, Lego really listens to their uh, customers and the needs of the, the end users, which are the kids. Uh, right now, can you share to us which product should we be looking forward to from the LCS in the coming months? Uh, in the coming months, well, our recent new arrival would be the, apart from the Avengers Infinity War sets, would be the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom sets. And then, um, of course, our ever-growing Brickheads assortment. So by this month, we'll have the Back to the Future. So we'll have Doc and Marty McFly. And continuously, there will be new additions to the Brickheads assortment. And then um, you can also expect a lot of um, collector series sets coming out soon. Uh, a lot of them are still confidential, so I cannot disclose yet at this moment. Thank you for having us, Mr. Thank you.